Hello, this is Dr. Liu here. Um, so in case you wonder how I'm actually um, programming my boards, this is the uh, programming jig that I built myself. So this red, uh, this sorry, this green, I have a bunch of red boards stacked next to uh, this. So this green board, this area is the programming jig. These are all uh, springy contacts. They're they're called uh, poco pins. So I have one of them I can bring to the, the focus here. So it's a pogo pin. And if you push the pogo pin against something such as that, the pin just retracts okay. like this. So this makes a good uh, contact with, uh, with the, uh, the holes on my board. So here's a pattern of, uh, of uh, two by three, so that's the programming header, and here's a pattern of four by one. This is a testing header, so just in case someone wants the um, uh, the basic analog input feature, um, I want to test those pins, make sure that they are all working. And here's also a couple more pins over here. This connects to my uh, my SDI twelve sensor here. This was uh, this is an a 5TM, this is made by Dakigong, so now they're meter groups. Um, so if I press the board against this jig, it is going to make contact with all of the, the pins that I'm interested in, uh, with programming and also testing out the same board. So I'm just going to press this down, and on my computer it has already recognized that there is a, there's a board that has been pressed down. So I can just secure these two ends. That's already good enough because most of the pins are on this side anyway. So now it has secured the, uh, the board. And on my computer screen, I have uh, the, uh, um, the, program, uh, the programming uh, code here. I'm just going to um, start the programming by pressing a button here. So nothing actually happens. There's no uh, LED flashing or, or um, uh, sound beeping, anything. I'm just watching on the computer screen this way. Uh, you can see the computers right here. So what I did was I watched as the, uh, uh, the whole thing went through. It was, uh, uh, it was a success, so the board was flashed. So next what I need to do is to test this board. So I have this connection here. This thing here is actually a USB hub, so it makes it kind of self-contained. I have the hub that's connected to the programming board on the bottom, and also I'm just going to connect to the new board on the top. So I, I heard the other uh, chime, the, the new board was recognized, and I'm going to scan the port to find the new board. The new board has COM port number 6, and I've set it up to uh, the run at the 96 baud rate. So I just connected to it. Okay, so what do I do here is uh, I will uh, pro, uh, just pull the um, um, this SDI-12 sensor. So I have a series of commands that can run in um, with short pauses in between. Okay, so uh, let's see. And uh, I'll just uh, do that. Mm. Okay, so I, I measure the temperature, temperature is 25.4 degrees C, that's a room temperature, it's, uh, it's pretty warm. Um, and uh, I also will be testing these uh, analog pins. The analog pins are actually connected to some small potentiometers supplying different voltages across the different channels. So I have the numbers written down, I don't know if you can see them, but uh, I, I memorized them. So I'll just read those values out from my board. I got uh, roughly 4.2, 3.3, 3.1, and 1.8. So that's that's those four numbers. That means uh, these pins are uh, they're they're running correctly. And also I have tested the SDI 12 sensor, which was connected to this particular uh, terminal block. Well, it would have a terminal block. It's connecting to these pins. So I just uh, did a test on the computer. That means, uh, okay, this thing is working. The uh, the, uh, the USB is working. I was able to connect to it, and I tested 
these uh, inputs and also it's a SDI 12 input capability so that means this board is good to go and uh, now all I have to do is on the computer I disconnect from this uh, serial port and here I physically remove that USB connection and then remove these uh, standoffs and pop this out so I'll put it in the uh, uh, programmed bin so that's at the moment just on the right side of uh, the uh, this box so I hope that helps uh, you understand how I do uh, this programming and uh, it, it does take a while but uh, but this uh, programming jig has made it easier I don't have to um, unscrew the uh, terminal block try to connect that to an actual sensor because those are done by these pro uh, these uh, pogo pins and also have the firmware already on a on an SD card so all I have to do is press a button on the computer to tell this to flash the firmware wait for a minute oh these are the potentiometers right there the little blocks they they control what kind of voltages get read from those pins alright thank you